All right, guys, back at it again. We got a Swift Chaser grinder here. 110 volt single phase machine, made in 1985 in South Omani, California. Not too far from here. Universal TG100, call it Chuck workhead. On the X and the Y, I believe so, left to right, up, to, up and down. On the uh, cup grinding head as well. Uh, 45 degree either way, uh, 45 degree to zero to 90, I believe it is. No, to 135 degrees. Spring loaded tail sock. Dressing attachment, which is also completely universal. It has the Y adjustment, and the X is missing the handle. I have no way to test this one, guys. I'm assuming it works. Um, I don't know, though. And I just want to be clear in the video that I don't know if that works or not. Worst case scenario, uh, run a dowel through it, spin it, put a bridge port handle on it, something similar to that. The table is also adjustable out of 15 degrees, so. Thought that was pretty trick. You don't see that too often. Tao Lee, I believe, does it. I've seen a few hard inch machines that I've listed. I have one up right now. It's a universal mill horizontal. You guys should take a look at the video for that as well. Also posted on the eBay. I believe it's a six inch cup grinding wheel. Missing the cap to the electrical. Doesn't affect the machine at all, but I would put one on there just to make it look a little bit better. I don't have one currently in stock, but I believe that's a pretty universal thing to put on there. Let me uh, fire this up for you guys real quick so you guys can see it running. You do have to plug it in. There is no on or off switch. There used to be uh, on the side of the machine, but it, it's not there anymore. If you guys hire uh, wire in a on and off switch box, it'll work just fine. The vibrating you hear might be Sounds good, motor runs super strong, RPMs look really high. Um, in the description, I'm sure I can find the exact RPM. So look in the description for all the specifications, whether it be the degree of adjustability in any movement of any facet of the holders that are positioned on there. Fairly sure I just made up a few words. Motor runs really, really strong, guys. Used to be fitted with uh, coolant as well. It has the down tube into a separate sump other than the tool cabinet. It's not fitted anymore, but the hose is still there. The line is still ran, so you could always just fit one in there. Um, table looks super clean, no holes, no grind marks. I'm assuming everything could use a little bit of way lube. I don't have any at the shop that I'm currently in and I would do that for you hopefully before shipping. Um, if not, not a big deal. You guys could just throw some uh, way lube on there. You guys could pick three sizes of TG100 collets. I have a very wide variety of them ranging from you know millimeter to imperial measurement, which is standard. Um, Pick three, any after that, I gotta charge you guys four bucks a piece, which is still a steal on eBay right now. They're going from seven to ten dollars. Shipping weight should be approximately about 350 pounds crated. If you guys have any questions, concerns, um, help shipping, feel free to call me at my cell phone. It's 909-544-8882. You guys could also shoot me an eBay message or a email at brandon.pixler at gmail.com or brandon at pixlerandsons.com. This will all be listed in the eBay listing, guys. I just wanted to show this video so you guys could see it working in action. Very strong, strong grinder. Use it to resharpen tools, to turn down shanks, to finish off work pieces. All right, guys, have a good night. I uh, had a long day today, so 
Take it easy. Keep turning. Good old-fashioned American machine work, man. Take it easy, guys.